Hello, Chef here. So I find myself in one of the kitchens and I thought I'd share my meal with you. Uh, this time of the year in the United States, uh, deer are uh, overpopulated, as you know, they're everywhere. So, uh, well, a friend of mine gave me this awesome deer tenderloin. Wow! It's been lightly salted and peppered. Got some black pepper and some blend on here. Got a little bit of onions and garlic. And uh, I'm going to toss the recipe together. It's comfortable. It feels good. Uh, great balance. Really nice weight. It's not heavy. It's not light. Okay, I got a very hot frying pan here with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Uh, here we go. Venison tenderloin. Wow. I'm going to put the big one in first. Let it cook a little bit. Okay, a few minutes later, as usual, we're going to turn this once, just like this. Oh, yeah, look at that. Once you turn it, that's the point where you're going to let it continue to cook a little bit. Okay, this tenderloin is looking really good. And I'm going to let it continue to cook. At this point, I'm going to flambe it. And today I'm using, uh, what do we got here? Port. Look at that. A little bit of port on here. Yeah. And a little bit of beef stock. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, you know me, I like a little salt. Pink sea salt, yeah. Woo! Okay. So, uh, if you got the herbs, you might as well use them. And I happen to have a little bit of fresh rosemary here. Touch of rosemary. Okay. Okay, the finished venison tenderloin. I sliced it, uh, add a little bit of that wonderful sauce. Got a little bit of... Uh, uh, golden potato stuffed with brie cheese over here, steamed the broccoli and carrots. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, support your sponsor. And the sponsor has wild game recipes, venison recipes, tenderloin recipes, all kinds of great chef tested recipes at the sponsor. Check it out. Don't forget to share. Have a great day.